Very well, Council. We resume proceedings. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Honorable Commissioners, I recall the Managing Director of Gambia Ports Authority, Mr. Tambido. I do apologize to the commissioners. Um, I, could you give us just a, a minute to, I'll call another witness, because I don't know what happened. Mr. Tambe, definitely we spoke to him this morning, so he must be around. I will, um, I instead call Mrs. Nafi Bari. Mrs. Nafi Bari. Morning. Good morning. Uh, it's going on, huh? You can read off to me. I swear by the Almighty Allah. I swear by the Almighty Allah. That the evidence I shall give to this commission. That the evidence I shall give. To Shall be, the truth, shall be the truth, the whole truth, the whole truth and, nothing and nothing but the truth. But the truth. So help me Allah. So help me Allah. Wait for, for the Could you kindly state your names, ma'am? Nafi Bari. You, where do you live? Kotu West. You're a public servant? Yes, ma'am. What office do you hold? 
I am the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Trade and Industry. Would you like to take a seat? Please sit down. Thank you. Mrs. Barry, you worked at the Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs. Yes, ma'am. During which years did you work there? From 1984 to 2005. In what capacities? I started as a fiscal officer and rose through the ranks to, oh, to Deputy Permanent Secretary in 2005. Fiscal, or fiscal, F-I-S-C-A. And you were summoned in relation to Mahindra Tractors. Yes, ma'am. This, according to the evidence we have, um, were tractors that were acquired pursuant to a loan from the Exim Bank of India. Yes, ma'am. Did you have anything to do with this? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I would like you to explain to the Commission um, your part, if any, in the acquisition of these tractors and in the securing of the loan first and the acquisition of the tractors. And um, if you have any documents, you also can present them to the Commission. Um, yes, ma'am. Um, in 2005, November 2005, we were to attend um, the Confederation of Indian Industries Conclave. That's a meeting that is held annually in India. Um, we were supposed to be there with the then Minister of Trade, uh, Honorable Musa Balagay, myself as the Deputy Permanent Secretary, Minister of Trade then, and Mr. Keba Ture, Chief Executive of GIPSA then. So we were to go to this meeting in uh, 2005 in India, and uh, prior to leaving, the permanent secretary then. Okay. Okay. All right, go on. So you saw now, this prior, prior to leaving, I think a day or two before we left, um, the uh, minister indicated that he was not going anymore for whatever reasons. I didn't know why he didn't go, but he was not able to attend the conclave. So I was uh, to go with Honorable with Keba Ture. So he issued, um, he wrote to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, a power of attorney was um, issued for me to sign, and he also authorized, wrote a letter of authorization asking me to sign the loan on his behalf, mm. which okay. I did. I have the um, letters. Okay. You have is, the letters there? Yes, I do. Okay, first the letter dated 31st October 2005. If you could check it and, and put it aside, from you said uh, did you say the consul, the High Commission of India? The letter dated um, 31st October you mentioned 2005. This is November 2005. Sorry, almost November. I'm sorry. If you can find it immediately, um, sorry, uh, it's here. Thirty okay. first October, two thousand and five. 31st October 2005. You said that was the commencement of your involvement? Yes. The letter okay. is here. All right. Can you put it aside? It's from where, actually? Uh, this letter is from the High Commissioner of India for the Gambia right. in um, Dakar, Senegal. Okay. And it's signed by the High Commissioner-designate. 
Very well. If, if you, who was the Minister of Foreign Affairs at the time? Then it was uh, Lamin Kababajo. Okay. okay, thank you. If you could put it to one side. Um, so you said you had an authority and a mandate yes, to go and sign on behalf of um, your minister. Could yes, you also add those to the... I had an authority. The authority is here, dated 2nd November. Uh, prior to the authority, uh, there's also um, a letter from the Office of the President signed by Ibrahim Kamara uh, um, asking for the speedy conclusion of the matter on which the then Honorable Minister had minuted his uh, indication of asking me to uh, represent him with the authority, uh, with a written authority signed by him. I have this, those two letters. The speedy conclusion of which matter? Because of, so far you have si told si us... Signing the loan. loan what, what was the loan supposed to be for? Uh, the um, loan was supposed to be um, a line of credit for uh, the purchase of a tractors and an assembly plant. Okay. Very well. You can add the letter from the Office of the President. And, uh, and, the, the, and the authority. The mandate. Can you read the mandate out, please? The? The mandate. The mandate, um, it's captioned authority. Mrs. Nafi Bari, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Department of State for Trade, Industry and Employment, is representing me at the CII Conclave on India-Africa Partnership in New Delhi, November 7 to 8, 2005. Mrs. Bari is hereby authorized to sign on behalf of the Government of the Republic of the Gambia the agreement for the Government of India line of credit in the amount of 6.7 million for the Gambia. 6.7 million what? With the Exim Bank of India. What currency? Uh, 6.7 million US dollars. Okay, thank you. And it's signed Honorable Musaji Balagay, Secretary of State for Trade, Industry and Employment. Thank you. Uh, if you add it to the other documents that we are going to apply to have admitted. Did you go to India? Hmm? Did you go to India? I did. Um, uh, we went to India on the conclave and on the margins of that, as instructed, I had signed the loan agreement. Who was on the mission with you to India? Keba Ture. Only Mr. Who, yes. Yeah. I went with Keba Ture at the and time. And you said he was CEO Gaipa at the time? He was CEO Gipsa at the time. Gipsa? Gipsa then, yeah. Then, okay. Thank you. All right. So you have the loan agreement that you signed? Yes, I have. Um, upon return, I, um, when I had already signed the agreement, the agreement is here, and I had forwarded the agreement uh, through a letter dated 22nd of um, November 2005, and uh, copied the letter then to the Permanent Secretary, Department of State for Foreign Affairs, and the Permanent Secretary, uh, Department of State for Finance and Economic Affairs. And who are the parties to the agreement? The parties were um, the India. Let me just have this. Uh, the borrower is the Republic of the Gambia, and uh, the uh, Exim Bank was the lender. I'm going to show you MS-79. I'd like you to confirm whether it's the same um, dollar credit line agreement. Is it called dollar credit line agreement, the one you have? Can you look at the cover page? Is it called a dollar credit line agreement? Yes, it's called dollar credit line agreement dated okay. 8 November 2005. I'm going to show you MS-79A and tell us whether you can identify it. Okay. Can you show the witness MS-79A? Yes, ma'am. That's the document. MS-79. Yeah. All right. Um, then that's fine. We have that document. You don't have to add your copy to the bundle.
Okay. Yeah, but you can hold on to MS-79 in case you, you, you want to say anything about it or we want to ask you questions about okay. it. Okay. Um, yes, continue. You signed the agreement? Yes, uh, ma'am. Upon my return, I forwarded the loan agreement to the Secretary General, Office of the President, and uh, copied to Permanent Secretaries of Finance and Foreign Affairs. Um, you said it was to November 2005? November 2005. Okay. Okay. Yes, what, did you have anything else? To, to and, uh, the, any that, other involvement? That, that letter is here. All right, you can, you can, you can add it. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, then, um, okay, 2005. Um, then, on the instructions of the um, solicitor, um, Secretary General, rather, um, Office of the President, um, we were asked um, to we were asked to go on a mission to uh, India, and um, the delegation comprised uh, the permanent secretary or Minister of Agriculture, then Mr. Surwajaite, myself, Keba Ture, CEO Gipsa. Mama Marena, the CEO of Guy uh, Divers Teacher, then, and Mr. Njoguba from Office of the President. Divers Teacher, you mean the Gambia Divers Teacher Gambia Agency? Gambia Divers Teacher Agency. What was the purpose of the mission to India this time? Um, this time, um, the, uh, our consul in uh, India had written to the Office of the President indicating that he had shortlisted two um, companies uh, from where the tra tractors or the, um, the tractors were to be sourced. And our instructions were to go to India, look at the two, and uh, commit to one of them. You mean visit the two, two companies? Companies, yes. Okay. Who had done the shortlisting? Uh, the um, consul, our consul general in uh, India, Sanjay Diwan. On his own? Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know. I just, yeah. Who, which ministry was responsible for liaising with um, the consul in, in India for the shortlisting? Do you know? Now, I would think it's the, mini, uh, the office of the president, because all the letters that he wrote were directed to the office of the president. Okay, very well. So did you go on I the did. mission? Yes. And did, what happened? Well, we went and we visited. And uh, we chose um, um, Mahendra and Mahendra as the most responsive. Of course, on the, the delegation was headed by uh, Surwa Ajayte, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Agriculture. Finally, uh, a document was signed between Mahendra and the government of the Gambia. Okay. On, on, was there, on what basis were, was Mahendra selected as the most responsive? Uh, at the time, um, it was to look at, um, because they were already shortlisted, and uh, I guess uh, they had passed the test, but uh, the two, we were asked to look at the two to see which one uh, we would prefer out of them. And uh, all of them um, submitted um, proposals, etc. I can't find the proposal for the other one, but I have seen the proposal, because it's been a long time, I've seen the proposal that came from Mahendra, which was endorsed, and it's here with us, based, uh, and they had given the conditions which, I guess, at the time, were uh, appealing or, uh, to us as a delegation, especially um, headed by the permanent secretary from agriculture, who was probably the um, person that would have known about tractors, etc. So, so Thank you. You can add it to, to the bundle. Um, did you have a report when you came? Did you make a report when you came back from um, the mission? Yes, ma'am. We had a report. Unfortunately, I had searched 
I couldn't find um, any of the reports, but I saw a letter written by um, Yoguba at the time. Um, let me see. What, what was the date of the mission? The My, date of the mission to India? The date of the mission to India was from the 10th to the 15th of um, April 2006. All right. I'll look for the letter you referred to. Yes, and I'll, I'm, I'll show I'm you trying document. to look for this letter that was written to acknowledge. Ms. Bell, I'll show you exhibit MS79A. Can you show the witness exhibit MS79A? Yeah, I think I've seen the letter. You've now. seen the I, letter? I don't know whether that is the one. No, but no, there's no. a letter dated May 6, 2006. All right. What, what's that letter? Let me see. This is... I'm showing the witness exhibit MS 79A. This is a document that was admitted from the Ministry of Finance. I see, okay. I don't have this. Do you remember and if this document? If you don't. You remember this document? Looks looks familiar. What is it? Why does it look familiar? Uh, I mean, it's stating the objectives of the mission, and uh, um, the, the delegation, the uh, composition of the delegation, which is correct. And uh, really, uh, I have seen um, to visit the two companies, that is Sonalika, etc., uh, to engage. Uh, that was right to ensure that the most responsive company for the tractor assembly plan supplies some tractors number of horsepowers to be decided for use during 2006 cropping season to fast track. I, yeah. I'm showing it to you because you referred to a mission report. That purports to be a mission, a mission report, report covering the same mission yes, that no. you mentioned. Yeah. Is that the mission report that you recollect? Uh, you can't remember. I, that, I, if you I cannot can, remember at this time, time, I can only say it looks uh, familiar. familiar, but I can't confirm. Very well. You were referring to a letter from Mr. Njogu Ba? Yes. yes. I know what is, that, what is that, that letter. That, yeah, that a letter dated uh, May 6, 2006, was written by um, Mr. Njogu Ba on behalf of the Secretary General, again writing to the Secretary General, uh, saying official delegation to India from 10 to 15. Um, can I read, ma'am? What, what's the purpose of the letter? Um, the letter ju was just saying that a Gambian delegation comprising five senior officials led by the Permanent Secretary, Department of State of Agriculture, visited India from these dates with directives to identify and contract an Indian company that would be able to supply the Gambia with tractors as soon as possible, etc. And it also talks about, sir, the delegation recommended um, it talks, uh, the delegation was also able to engage. I mean, it's a sort of a report. Probably this would have. Uh, Does it indicate the, the the basis for recommending the Mahindra and Mahindra? No, it didn't. It, it didn't. All right, that's fine. Add it since you are producing it. You can add it to your bundle. Yeah. All right. So okay. what happened after you recommended Mahindra and Mahindra? Well, um, after we have recommended Mahendra and Mahendra, like I said, um, the agreement was signed. We brought back the agreement. And, what, okay. what agreement was signed? The agreement between the government of the Gambia and Mahendra. Okay. There was a purchase, was it a purchase agreement? Do you have the agreement? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I have the um, purchase what is, agreement. What is the date of the agreement? 
uh, uh, the agreement was dated 12th of April 2006. Okay. And it's here. Yes. I have and it. Can you tell us, um, the, the, not the, all the details, but the main, the basis of the agreement, the, I suppose, most important element, if, if you like, of the agreement. You are purchasing, you said, what, tractors or an assembly line or exactly what did the agreement provide? Right. And the value, of course, of, the, of hmm? the agreement, the value of the agreement. Uh, the desirable, desirable um, vo uh, requirement was for 500 tractors, tractor units. I think that was what we were looking for. I know that is that was there, and uh, they had also indicated, uh, uh, as part of the agreement, the warranty and other things. Um, they were to, um, I think, supply Five, 500 tractor units for how much? Ma'am, I can't remember unless I get Does into the agreement doesn't state it? How much? Unless I get into the agreement itself mm. because the agreement is voluminous. Who signed the agreement? On the agreement the was signed by Surwa Ajayte. Okay. He was permanent secretary. He was permanent secretary, of Minister of Agriculture. Agriculture. All right. Um, can I have a look at the agreement hmm? that you have? Can I have a look at the Yes, image? please. Um, there is reference to an offer that was made. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a copy of that offer from Mahindra? And Mahindra is, is and the terms of the offer being acceptable. No, ma'am. All right. I'll, can you give her back the agreement? I'd like you to look at clause six in any event and confirm. Whether that was the consideration for the 500 tractors. What does clause 6 say? Clause 6 the agreement is for the contract amount of US dollar 6.7 million as per the uh, enclosed performa invoices. Okay. All right, thank you. And um, could you just tell us from the pro forma invoice attachments, just confirm that those were the implements that were supposed to be supplied? You have the pro forma invoice? That's what I'm trying to look for. Yes, the pro forma invoice is here. Yes. And I think there is a, the bid of 12th April 2006 attached, which is for the commissioning of 500 units of four wheel tractors from India. Mm -hmm. Can you confirm that? Yes. From Mahindra and Mahindra. Yes, All right, thank you. Could you add the agreement to your bundle then? So what, what happened after that, Mrs. Barry? Ma'am, after that, I, I do understand that the tractors arrived in the Gambia because um, there's much, but that, that much is here, say, I was not involved after that. I don't know anything more about the tractors. Okay. Did you see the tractors? No. 
Okay. I have not seen the tractors, of, although I heard that they were in country. Do you, as the Ministry of Trade, were you in any way involved in the servicing of the debt? No, your ministry was not. No, ma'am. It's the Minister of Finance. Did you understand what the purpose of um, purchasing 500 tractors was? Um, yes. Uh, my understanding was that um, uh, they were trying to mechanize agriculture in the country. And uh, it was also, um, my understanding then also was that um, the tractors were not supposed to be assembled there. They were to be brought in pieces and uh, um, assembled at Kotu, the um, MSE, I can't remember what it is. MSG, Maintenance Service. Ma Maintenance Services Agency, yep. so that they would create employment and uh, also um, promote um, people to get into the skills of trying to um, have skills, really. Mm. That was my understanding of the whole issue. Um, this concept of mechanizing agriculture, was there any, any um, concept paper, any policy around it, any strategy? Um, not from the uh, perspective of the Ministry of Trade, probably at agriculture. Agriculture may have that um, strategy or, or, or plan in place to mechanize agriculture. But as far as we're concerned, coming from the Ministry of Trade, my involvement was being asked to go and sign and thereafter identified to be part of a delegation that um, went to validate what was given to us by the, um, our consul general or whatever he's called, honorary consul, and that was it, ma'am. But I would have expected that the Minister of Trade had an interest in ensuring that um, the, at least the purpose, which was partly, as you said, to create employment, was realized, or at least some sort of industrialization, which, of course, um, I think it's within your portfolio, was also realized. Was there any follow-up by your ministry no, regarding this matter? No, ma'am. Why wasn't there any follow-up? Who was your permanent secretary at the time? Then it was Mr. Suleiman Samba. Okay. Very well. Um, how long have you been in, were you at the Ministry of Trade after that? Actually, in 2005, uh, whilst we transacted this, I was in the Ministry of, Fine, uh, Ministry of Trade as Deputy Permanent Secretary. And you stayed on after that? And I stayed on. Uh, I stayed on till 2009, went back to finance, but came back uh, shortly after in 2009. February 2010 and became the permanent secretary. Okay. There was no task force about this matter at all, these uh, Mahindra tractors and the mechanization program? There was, um, yes ma'am, there was a task force and I recall that in one of the meetings we were invited but we saw the um, invitation late and could not attend. But thereafter, uh, we were not party to any of the meetings, if I recall rightly. I know that one of the meetings we were invited, but we didn't okay. attend. So I don't, I'm not very sure about that. It's been a while. I tried to look for these documents, but unless... Um, Which ministry was coordinating the task force? Um, Minister of Finance. Minister of Finance. All right. Thank, thank you, Mrs. Bell. Mr. Chairman, those are the questions I have for the witness. We have questions. Thank you very much. You, you may leave now. Thank you, sir. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh. The documents. I omitted to, yes, to oh. admit the documents. Can you collect the documents and our exhibits, please? Your exhibit is here. These are my documents. And our own exhibits. There were two handed over ah, to the witness. Sorry, two. The, the, that's the other one. Please, please, please wait whilst we admit the documents. Huh? Sorry, Mr. Chairman. I should wait. Yes.
Mr. Chairman, may I ha apply to have admitted letters and ag agreements relating to a credit uh, facility of US dollar 6.7 million for a mechanization, agricultural mechanization project. the book. Bundle of correspondence and other documents. Commencing first, sorry, commencing 31st of October 2005 and ending 6 May 2006, relating to Mahindra tractors. Admitted, Mark M.S. Ipi. Mr. Chairman, the, the number, the exhibit number, I missed it. MS 8080. M80. Mm. Thank you. You finished with that? Yes. Very well, you may leave. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. I call Mr. Surwa Jaiche. Surwa. Surwa, witness number. Can I have the bundle? 